Good morning, students. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. And I'd like us to finish up the little red hen with a math connection. Before going to that, I'd like to invite you all to visit my Google Classroom page. Uh, these are the steps. Number one, go to myaps.edu. Number two, enter your student number. The 91800, you should already know it. And your password is your initials, a dot, uh, your month of birth, your day, and your year. Okay. And then number three is click on Google Classroom. And then the code to join is E35CGK4. All righty. So to finish up the little red hen, we're going to do a math lesson on arrays. Arrays are identifiable number patterns or structures. For example, when you buy a carton of, carton of egg, carton of eggs, you'll see that um, you have a pattern of two and six. So you can either add two, one, two, three, four, five, six times, or six, two times. So let's do two, six times. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two. One, two, three, four, five, and one more is six, sorry, 12. Okay. And the other way to do this addition is six, two times, six plus six. Six plus six is 12. Let's do another array. And by the way, the reason that we're using egg cartons is because today we're going to transfer the seeds to, to egg cartons because they have started to grow. Um, before I started doing these lessons, I recorded a video that I was not able to upload because I had problems with my uh, transferring it over to my computer. But if I get a chance, I'll keep on working on it and put it in so you can see the beginning of how these seeds look at the looked at the beginning. Uh, here's another carton. This one is three by one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be three, six times. Three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that equals 18. <clears throat> or you can do six, three times. That would be six <clears throat> plus six <clears throat> plus six plus six, six plus six plus six would be 18. All right. <clears throat> That's the second one right there. Let's put numbers on them. Number one, number two. Let's do one more. Number three. This one is one, two, three, four, going across, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So it will be four plus four, six times. Help me, please. Four plus four plus four plus four plus four one two three four five plus one more four that equals 24 or we can do six this let's add six four times one two three four so let's do six plus Six plus six plus six equals 24. Now, as second graders getting ready to go to third grade, okay, we do arrays to show you or to prepare you that 
or for you to understand that um, this addition is very repetitive and it's tedious to continue to do uh, <coughs> arithmetic in this fashion. So, so in third grade, you will begin to do, uh, instead of adding, doing repeated addition in this form, you're going to be doing it with multiplication. So let's transfer that to uh, these arrays to multiplication. And let's count. Remember how many times we have two over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, let's put number one. Six times two equals 12. So you see, this is, um, although you are writing less on paper, Okay, you're still doing the same amount of uh, adding here in your head. It's just that it's called diff uh, it's called multiplication rather than addition. And essentially, uh, addition is uh, multiplication is repeated addition. Let's do this one. How many C's do you see? How many sixes do you see? Sorry, two. Okay, two times six equals twelve. Okay, and this is a multiplication symbol that we'll be using for today. Later on, you'll learn that uh, multiplication can be represented with uh, different symbols. But this is the one that we'll use today. Okay, let's do the second one. Okay, how many threes? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six threes. So that is uh, three times six. And how much did we say that was? 18, right? All right. And the bottom one, we just flip it over. One, two, three. Six times three. In multiplication, you'll learn, you'll learn different rules as well. You'll learn that this is the commutative property of multiplication. And you'll also learn that it gives you the same answer. This is number two. And why don't you do three on your own? And by the way, I have seen some of your messages, boys and girls. I haven't been able to get out of a glitch on the computer. So if you want me to check your work, um, have your parents take a picture of it and send it to me during my office hours. I'll look at it and I'll give you feedback, okay? Take a picture on the phone and then send it to my number. Okay, I'd like you to do number three, okay? Uh, convert it to multiplication and tell me what the answer is. Well, just tell, show me what it looks like. The answer will be 24. Alrighty. Um, what else? Do um, have your parents help you doing several of uh, uh, arrays turn into multiplication. Okay. And today, this will be, I, I will load two uh, separate videos today. I wanted to show you before we go on to planting our seeds into the egg cartons because uh, we don't want to put the seeds out outside just yet because uh, <clears throat> if it gets too cold again and the seeds aren't strong enough to, to sustain the cold, they will die. So what we do is we put them in, uh, you can put them in, uh, a carton like this and leave them indoors until they're ready to be planted outside okay if I have some that I think are ready to stay outside we'll do those in in, in the back garden so we'll we'll end this video actually let's not end it let me show you what the seeds look like again remember these are the seeds that we did two weeks ago so this is two weeks worth of worth of growth. I haven't been able to load up that video, the very first video, but let me show you what they look like. It's very promising. What we see here is very good. All right. We'll go like this. Show you. Garbanzo beans. Okay, success. Remember, these are the seeds that I got from my, my food pantry. Look at the uh, the black eyed peas we lost. They, they did not uh, germinate as well. And 
I did take some of them outside and they got they were blown away by the wind look at how beautiful the 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 red kidney beans look oh look at these very very um strong root systems and they want to grow so i think those i think these I, i'll just plant outside uh along with uh what do we have here the pinto beans are also growing oh my goodness so exciting look at this what was this here the great northern white bean also ready almost ready to be planted outside in the garden and last here we had lentils the split the split pea didn't work either but if you uh, if you notice that most of our pantry seeds grew and oh but the black seed uh, the black beans only one but uh that's also because i oh no two we have two germinating germinating means that they are sprouting out see these are not ready to be outside yet so we'll just put them on the egg cartons and uh we'll go from there so these are the seeds that i got from my pantry let me show you the seeds that i got from from package uh store seeds see what this looks like we do have some growth Mm, not that much but we do have some growth okay uh, it goes like this tomato tiny tiny little bit of sprout there uh, carrot is coming out these are the ones that we're going to plant in the egg cartons because they they still need a lot of uh, tender love and care uh, what are these? This is corn. Corn is something that I'm interested to see how it grows. Uh, what was this back here? Onion. Okay, we lost a lot of the onions when we took them outside. Cucumber. I do not see anything on the cucumber. And I do see one zucchini coming out. Still exciting. We're going to um, have... Uh, I'm going to prepare the, the soil in the cartons and, and then we'll uh, try to upload these videos today so that hopefully you can uh you can get your parents to help you start growing some food at home all right boys and girls until next time